Hi everybody, I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's presentation will be on VPNs and antivirus, what they are and how to use them. Today we will be doing a bit of a shorter presentation and then a longer live demonstration. So firstly, what is an antivirus? An antivirus is a software that you can download onto your computer in order to prevent detect, and remove malware. Malware is simply harmful computer software that tries to damage your computer or your network. Downloading an antivirus can be very beneficial because it adds a layer of security to your computer in order to protect the health of your computer and also your privacy from these kinds of harmful viruses. So now, how to download and use an antivirus? There are many, many different types of antivirus softwares that are available for you to download, and most of them are from the internet. Some are free and some require a one-time download fee or even a monthly subscription. For our demo today, I will be using Avast Antivirus, which is a free antivirus from the internet to show you how antiviruses work and also how to configure them. If you want to download it, you can click the link below when you receive a copy of this presentation. Next, here is a small visual representation of how these actually work. So firstly, the first step is that a new virus is created, which many are each day. And this is the hacker that would be creating it. Then you can see that this is the antivirus software here and all of the bad things trying to get into your computer are being stopped. Though, then once it has been recognized and the antivirus software stops it, if a virus is not in the antivirus database yet, it can still slip through. So you can see this arrow is coming through into your home computer and there's a bit of a sad face because the virus is now on your computer. So this just shows how important it is to have this step the antivirus software in order to prevent that. Next, before moving on to the live demonstration, I will be going over what a VPN is. A VPN or virtual private network is a program that you download on your computer in order to protect your internet connection. By protecting your computer's connection to the internet, you are more safe from hackers, businesses, and also trackers across a wide range of websites. It can be very useful to download this on devices when you are using them to access sensitive information, for example, government accounts, bank accounts, or even personal files. Finally, something called your IP address which is the number that tells your location of your device is hidden by a type of virtual tunnel. So this is going to really keep all of your information secure. Now, you might be wondering, why are VPNs useful and how do I use them? VPNs are great if you are somewhere public, for example, a coffee shop, where there is not a secure connection to the internet. A VPN will make an unsafe internet connection more secure because it will encrypt it. This simply means that it will block unauthorized access to your connection and people being able to see your information. Beyond securing your connection, certain VPNs can also be used to connect your device to servers outside of your actual location. And this can be specifically handy for hiding your location but also for getting access to certain online content that you might not be able to get in your region. For example, many people may want to access American Netflix for the shows that they have while they're in Canada and VPNs will allow you to do this. Again, I will be going over Proton VPN here in this presentation, but you can click on this link once you're sent a copy so that you can download it yourself as well. Now, here is another visual representation 
this time of a VPN. And it simply just shows that this would be you. And then when you're using the VPN, you're safe from being seen by corporate hackers or government. And then you can access the internet all over the world in many different locations. So now I will be going into a live demonstration on antivirus and also VPNs. So to start off, I will be talking a bit about antiviruses. An antivirus is a software that you download onto your computer. And again, it would help you to prevent, detect, and remove malware. And malware is the harmful software that can damage your computer if it does get onto your device. There are many different types of malware, such as computer viruses, worms, Trojan horses, ransomware, spyware, and many more. So downloading an antivirus is very beneficial. It will give you an extra layer of security. There are many different antivirus softwares that you can download from the internet. Some are free and some require a one-time download fee or more fees in the future. But for the demo right now, I will be doing a vast antivirus, which is free. So you will all be able to download this onto your computer if you are interested in it. So to start off, I would direct you to go to the Avast website, and you can do this by clicking onto your search engine and then going to avast.com. It will then redirect you to the site specific to your device for downloading this application. So because I have a Mac, it will show the Apple symbol. But if I had a Windows device, it would also be the version meant for Windows. So once you arrive here at this website, in order to download it, you're gonna to wanna to look for this green button and click on it. I already have it installed, so I will not be going through the next steps of clicking on this that pops up at the bottom and then simply just following a few simple steps that it asks you to do in order to complete the download. But I will now be showing you how to actually access the app. So once you're out of the downloading stage, you would see something like this appear on your desktop, just showing that it's on your computer. And then there are a few different ways that you can access the application. Firstly, you can look to your top bar and you will mostly likely see an icon here. It looks like a bit of a splatter with an A in the middle. So you can click on that and then click on open. Another way to do this would be going to the Launchpad section on the bottom toolbar and then finding the icon through there. It is an orange icon. Now, once I am actually in the application, I can see a wide range of different options. The first and main thing that this application can do is run smart scans. In order to do this, I will click on run smart scan in the center of the screen. There are a few different steps to this. Firstly, it makes sure that you are up to date on all of your virus definitions. And then it will also tell you when was the last time that you updated it. The next step of this scanning in order to enhance security and check for the malware and viruses, it will actually scan for viruses on your computer. Sometimes this might take longer than other times if it has never done it before and it has to search through your entire computer, but other times it may be quicker. If it is taking a long time to load, you can continue waiting, but for the purpose of this presentation, I'm gonna stop the scan just to save time. But once you do reach the end of the scan, you can see more information on the status of the malware, if there is any on your computer and an update about the current situation. From there, there are different tabs available within the application. As you can see here, there's Core Shields, Virus Chest, Wi-Fi Inspector, and also Ransom Shield. Though this one is not available unless you go premium, which I will be going over a little bit later. And you can see that because there is an orange lock here. So firstly, to go over the Core Shields. 
This is how you can stay protected against all major threats. These are the core defenses for blocking malware in real time on your device. When you download the application, they will all be turned on automatically in order to make sure that the application is working as well as it possibly can. But there are a few different options and you can also turn them off if you would like. First, there's File Shield, which scans any files added to or opened on your computer. Then there's also the Web Shield available, which blocks web attacks and unsafe downloads. And then lastly, there is the main email shield, which blocks dangerous email attachments. I would recommend that you have all of these on unless there's a particular reason why you would not want it to be. Um, but just to make sure that you're protecting everything, you would want to have these toggles switched to on. Though if you want to turn it off, you can just click on it and it will load and you will have to put in your password in order to allow it to turn that off. Next, there are also other tabs available in the application, such as the virus chest. This will simply tell you if there are detected threats that are then locked away in this section of the application, and then you're able to decide what to do with them. So because I do not have any malware on my computer that they've detected, there are not any files here. And as they say, there are no nasty files in this part of my application at the moment. But if you do come across any, they will be here and you'll be able to manage them. As well, there is a Wi-Fi inspector, which is similar to the smart scan, which will allow you to scan for vulnerabilities and potential strangers who are piggybacking on your network which is a very dangerous way to getting into your network. And you would simply click on scan network, this green button here, and it'll also tell you which Wi-Fi connection you're currently attached to. Now I will be showing a few more options in the menu of this application. So if you go to the top right corner and you click on menu, you will be able to see a few different options. Firstly, you are able to create an Avast account in order to sync your subscriptions and do other things with the application. Though currently I do not have an account, I could simply click on create account and then I would put in my email address and a password or I could continue with Google or Facebook and then create the account. If you already have an account, you can always click on sign in and just sign in. Secondly, this will allow you to sign out if you are already signed in. And then there's also the option to activate paid features. So if you have an activation code that you received after you purchased something that would allow you to unlock full protection, you would just simply put in the activation code here. There's also the option to click on Go Premium which will allow you to learn more about the options that they have for the upgrade. For example, they have the very best premium security, and then there's also a vast ultimate, which would give you even more, and it's an upgrade from the premium. If you want to do that, you can always click on the upgrade button here, and then you'll be directed to put in your payment information. There are also free trials available, which you can access through the website. As well, you can connect to Avast Omni. And then this section is very important, the preferences section, where you can, of course, update your application. You can learn more about subscription. And it will tell you, for example, that you're using the free version. It will tell you about privacy and its per personal privacy as well as, it, as its privacy policy. And then this will also take you back to the sections I already showed with the different shields that they have. And lastly, another important part of the menu is statistics. This is a great place to go if you're wondering a bit about how your device is doing with being protected from malware. So this one will tell you how long it's been um, working under 30 days. So it will tell you how many attacks you have, any threats, and how many scans you've done. 
And then there are a few options that you can get if you update your subscription and you pay for it so you can see even more information. But this is a great place to go if you're just wondering how the malware is on your computer. I will now be moving on to the second part of the presentation, which is specifically learning about VPNs. So for this presentation, we have decided to show you Proton VPN because it's a great free VPN service that you can use. Just to repeat what I was explaining in the presentation to remind you of what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network and it is a program that you download onto your computer in order to protect your internet connection. By protecting your computer's connection to the internet, you are more safe from hackers, businesses, and trackers across websites who may be trying to get any of your personal information. It prevents your internet activity from being spied on. It can be useful for downloading on devices when you're using them to access sensitive information, as well as hiding your IP address, which is a specific number that allows somebody to locate your computer. As well, VPNs are great for when you're in public spaces if you want to secure your connection um, because it will encrypt it and provide a tunnel allowing nobody to access any of your information. As well, something that it's great for is hiding your location so that you can use online services such as Netflix in order to access the services from other countries. So firstly, um, I'm going to direct you again to go to a website. It's called protonvpn.com and you would just type that into your search bar. Once you arrive, it will be prompting you to get the application. So you would simply click on the button in the middle of the screen and you can start your process. So once you've clicked on that and indicated that you're interested in downloading the application, you can see initially a few of the subscription options that they have. So there's the free one, which I'll be going over, then basic, plus, and then visionary. And you can read a bit more into all of the different things that it allows you to do with the upgraded accounts, because um, there are more features, of course, for the one that costs more money. And you can also see the monthly costs here. Then you would click on get free if you're interested in the free version. Um, something that's different with Proton VPN than the previous application I showed for antivirus is that it wants you to create an account and it is mandatory to create the account. So you would just put in a username, a password, and also your email address. Then you would click on create account. If you already have an account, you can also click on log in here, and then you'll be able to access all of the information that you had with the account from before. After completing this process, you will again be prompted to click on something that looks like this, as I did for Avast Security, and then there's just a few simple steps of actually opening the application. But once you get there, you will again see that there is a small drive here on your desktop showing that you have the application, and then there are two ways to access it. You can access it from the top bar and clicking on the icon and then clicking on Show Proton VPN. Or you can also go to the launch pad and click on Proton VPN. From there, once you are in the application, you will see this main screen. The main purpose of this, of course, is to connect to different countries. And it will allow you to see a long list of different countries here that you can connect to. Once you're interested in one, for example, if you specifically want to connect to the US, if you want, for example, US Netflix or another streaming program, you would just simply click connect. It will then take a few moments and then you will be connected to the United States and nobody will be able to see any of your activity. If you want to disconnect, you can simply click on this disconnect button here and it will disconnect you. I also really like how there's a map here that you can see who you're connecting with. And it's a nice way to understand 
which other country you're connected to. And then you can scroll down and if you want to connect to Germany, you can then click on connect. And then sometimes there are no servers available um, if you do not have the upgraded account. So it's saying that I'm not able to go to Germany because I have a free account. But if you have the paid one, then you would be able to access a wider range of countries. Next, I would also like to explain that there is something called Quick Connect. This allows you to just quickly connect to a VPN. And it's just a very easy way to simply click on that button and then you'll be able to connect. Then I would also like to explain the profile section of this application. So firstly, you can create profiles. And this is something that's very cool that the application can do because you can create a specific profile for a certain country. For example, if I wanted one specifically for my US Netflix in order to access a show that I'm watching, I could call this Netflix. Then you can even change the color of the profile, which is not um, a huge deal, but if you really like a certain color, then you can change it. And then you would just select the country that it would connect you to. For this, I will be connecting to Argentina, though it says upgrade required, so then I would not be able to. So one of the options that I have is Netherlands, so I will go with that. And then you can select a server. This basically just means that you can connect to a server in the Netherlands and rather whether it's the fastest one that you can connect to or just a random one. So if you want it to connect very quickly, then you can just click on fastest. Then you can save the profile. These are really great because it will allow you to simply go to the profile and connect when you're ready. Sort of like a shortcut to getting exactly where you want to go using this application. If you just want one specific VPN, you don't need to go scrolling through the long list of countries. You can have one specific one for different uses and you can have a wide range of them. You can create another profile and repeat the process I just did. Also, there are different sections of this um, account that you can access from the website by going into your account settings. Um, but I'd also like to go over the different parts of the desktop application. So firstly, there's the secure core, and this will route your most sensitive data through your safest um, and fastest servers in privacy friendly countries. So this is a good way to secure your information even further, and then you can upgrade in order to turn it on. Then another feature is the NetShield, which allows you to browse the internet without any ads or malware. Again, you will have to upgrade your account in order to access this feature. And finally, there is the kill switch, which disables if the VPN connection drops to prevent any accident um, of an IP address leak. So you would be able to turn that on and it will want you to put in the password of your device just to make sure that you're installing something. So you would have to put in your password, um, but that is available for people with the basic accounts. So I also just wanted to mention that the live demonstration was done on a Mac. So if you're on a different device, it may be slightly different, but the concepts are very similar. And if you're having any troubles at all, you can always reach out to a one-on-one -on -one or any of the volunteers.